The Experience Pros Radio Show, home of the original Fan Bragging Fridays. Take just 20 seconds to become a revolutionary by sharing a Fan Bragging story of great customer service on Facebook.com slash Experience Pros. Now, back to Angel and Eric, The Experience Pros. And is telling your story so it gets heard, understood, and remembered sometimes feel like Mission Impossible? Jerry Brown of Jerry Brown PR can help. Jerry's here on the Experience Pros Radio Show, this time every week with a tip to help you tell your story. Welcome back, Jerry. What's our storytelling tip this week? Well, thank you. I'm glad to be back. Uh, this week's tip is to use your calendar to tell your story. And, in fact, this is Thanksgiving week, of course, and there are a lot of news or storytelling opportunities opportunities around uh, a holiday like Thanksgiving. For example, you know, we all have our holiday traditions. A lot of mine are around food, you know, things right. like did turkey you bring, and Did you bring show and tell? Uh, well, I did not because it's in the oven still. But, uh. I, you know, I brought but things like turkey and dressing or mashed potatoes or cranberries or pumpkin pie. I mean, we've all got those kinds of things. Everybody's got their own favorite ones. Or, gotcha. And, of course, my very favorite one is that food-induced coma at the end of the It's nap time. Yeah, uh. absolutely. But another tradition that a lot of people have is watching the Macy's Day Thanksgiving Parade. Oh, yeah. But, see, mine is that I like to watch the Butterball University tips on national television because, I, you know, it just warms my heart that I think it is It's probably the best example I know of somebody who uses the calendar to just get zillions and zillions of stories National television, newspapers, websites, sure, you name it. Because what they did is they started in 1981, they created a talk line where they would take phone calls from people who were having trouble getting their turkey thawed and cooked and that sort of thing. Yeah, that's not the easiest thing to make. No, it's not. And, and what happened, though, at some point, some genius there decided that they would they would call the, um, the, the, the instructions they gave to the people who staffed those phones. They would... They would call it Butterball University, and they made the woman who heads it the dean of Butterball University. And when that happened, it just captured the imagination of them. They, they installed a direct line for my place. Oh, uh, yeah. And I, I need help. Well, and the irony of it is, I mean, they've been doing this so since they've, they've been doing this since the, the 1980s, 1981. Wow. That's over 30 years, and, you know, it's just very predictable. On Thanksgiving morning and on Christmas morning, they will be all over national television on the news shows, you know, the Today Show, Good Morning America, all those things. They'll sure. Be somebody from Butterball University there. Just Google Butterball University and see how many hits you get. You right, know? right. Um, but, you know, I, there are a lot of opportunities like that. We don't all have that opportunity, but... You, you know, um, there are all kinds of opportunities through the year to use the calendar to tell your story. Like, for example, in August, um, you'll see a lot of back-to-school stories for several years, but not so much anymore. But back in the early years when people started or kids started using backpacks, you could count for like five, six, seven years. There'd be all these backpack stories, which you had oh, to yeah. pick them. You know what to look for. You know, weight kids, requirements and all. Yeah, yeah and yeah. kids having back problems, that sort of thing. Um, but there are all kinds of education-related stories in August. Um, New Year's coming up is always, of course, a resolution great time, time. Resolution time. But any, you know, if you have any kind of story that you can tell around how to help people do things around self-improvement, it's a great time to tell that kind of a story. But you know, things we've already mentioned holidays, but anniversaries, oh yeah, um, changing seasons. All through the year, there are going to be opportunities to, uh, to do this. Jerry, you said anniversaries, and I'm thinking I, I immediately went to, to wedding anniversaries, but you're talking about like uh, land or, or um, milestones in the business, right? Correct. Correct. That's it, brilliant. Yeah, and in fact, one of the things you know, I mean, the, the bad side of that is if you if you are a company that's going through a huge crisis that's generating a lot of headlines, you can kind of count on that crisis coming back to haunt you every year on that anniversary for a while. But on the other hand, if you do have um, an anniversary that you can turn into positive news and you do, or even even in some cases when you have that kind of a crisis, you can often get ahead of that curve by talking about all the changes and improvements you've made since the crisis. Hostess, the death and resurrection of the Twinkie. I Absolutely. I there, laughed out loud. You know, <laughs> right. and I have not seen a lot, other than some stores closing, I have not seen a lot of businesses taking advantage of the Twinkie story yet, but that's one that's got potential. So does the Link movie, the Lincoln movie. Oh, yeah. Has some opportunity around that. I, You know, one of the ones, I used to work for the one of the Baby Bell phone companies, sure. the one here in Denver, U.S. West. And 
we regularly had a phone call where we had people from a bunch of different states and marketing units and people within our office. We would talk. And one of the things we did during that call pretty regularly was we would kind of brainstorm kind of things that we might put on the radar screen for stories. And one morning, this guy, and he thought it was funny, but he said, well, you know, today is uh, Alexander Graham Bell's 150th birthday. We ought to do a story about that, or, you know, generate a story about that. And everybody laughs because I think it's a big joke. And I'm sitting there thinking, you know, I really wish he had told us about, thought about this about a month ago. Yeah, because yeah, uh, we could have done a story about it. Well, not, yeah, and it's a perfect story because what you do is you throw a big, I mean, we were big enough invisible that we could have thrown a big birthday party for Alexander yeah. Graham Bell. And we could have used all of our gadgets, our newest gadgets right. to say, you know, look what has happened. Yeah, since, the history. Uh, yeah, and so that was a missed opportunity. But I mention it here because it's the kind of thing that to pay attention to. You know, that there's a reason why we have National Pickle Picking Week or whatever it is. Right. Is that people are trying to do that same thing, and some of those work and some of them don't. Sure. But if you just pay attention to your calendar, and if you're very imaginative and creative about it, it's amazing what you can pull off of that calendar to, to develop story ideas. I love the idea of, of pulling out the calendar. At this time of year, yep. you've got your whole calendar ahead of you, the whole year ahead of you. You can you know feature, and when you know in August you're going to do something on educational, if you know in the early part of the year you're going to do something on self-improvement, you can plan for it, put the resources in place, and get everybody yeah. on board with that. And these things, these calendar events, they come around every year, so you don't have to be surprised. You develop the list once and work the system uh, year after year from a different angle maybe to give a little more flavor to it and uh, wow it's, it's a brilliant way to tell your story. Jerry that is just an incredible incredible tip I, that's one that I know that I that I can use now once I've got my calendar of events right. all that we want to plan out we definitely want to make sure that we get in touch with Jerry Brown so for an article about today's storytelling tip you can go to Jerry's blog at Jerry Brown PR dot com jerrybrownpr.com you know the late journalist uh, screenwriter and denver native gene fowler once said writing is easy all you do is sit staring at a blank sheet of paper until drops of blood form on your forehead keep your forehead dry and hire jerry brown of jerry brown pr to help you write your blog posts social media postings articles press releases powerpoint presentations and more he can also edit what you've already written jerry brown at jerrybrownpr.com all right, and you know what? You can reach Jerry uh, once again at jerry at jerrybrownpr.com or by phone at 303-594-8016. That's 303-594-8016. The Experience Pros are here to help you get your business right. To learn more, visit experiencepros.com. 